Welcome to Solar Basics. I'm Kelsey Misprenner, Associate Editor of Solar Power World. And I'm Kathy Zip, Senior Editor. While solid state batteries such as lithium ion store energy in solid electrode material like metal, flow batteries store energy in electrolyte liquids. Most conventional flow batteries use two electrolyte liquids, one with a negatively charged cathode and one with a positively charged anode. The cathode and anode are separated into two tanks by a membrane because if they come into contact with each other, the battery will short and require replacement. This is often what happens with lithium ion batteries. The membrane degrades over time. But the exchange of negatively and positively charged fluids in flow batteries produces electrical current without degradation. This provides a longer cycle life and quick response times. While lithium ion batteries are great for mobile, high power applications like laptops and cell phones, Flow batteries are able to store power for longer periods, four hours or more. They can last for decades before needing replacement. This makes them great for providing power to large utility applications, military bases, data centers, microgrids, and off-grid projects that are not space constrained. Flow battery manufacturers offer a variety of chemistries, including vanadium, iron chromium, zinc bromine, zinc iron, and more. Flow batteries can also be redox, hybrid, and membraneless. Though it depends on the chemistry, flow batteries tend to be less reactive and easy to dispose with no fire risk. They are also often recyclable. For more on flow batteries, read our story online and stay tuned for the next Solar Basics videos.